What's up guys, Nax Tech here, and this is going to be my benchmarking video of the iPad 4 versus the Nexus 10. So the iPad 4 has a dual-core 1.4 GHz processor, and the Nexus 10 has a 1.7 dual-core GHz processor. Each has their own respective graphics processing units, which the uh, Nexus 10 has the Mali 604, and the iPad has the PowerVR SGX 554 MP4. So yeah, let's, uh, let's, let me just say one more thing. The uh, resolution on the Nexus 10 here is a 2560 by 1600 at 300 PPI. And the uh, screen over here on the iPad 4 is 2048 by 1536. So we are running a higher resolution on the Nexus 10 and you've got to take that into account with the benchmarks and all that stuff. So there's not actually that many benchmarks that I found that I could do on both tablets simultaneously. There's actually only two, and if you know any more, then yeah, go ahead, let me know. Um, the first one I'm gonna do is uh, Geekbench, which tests the CPU. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you there is nothing running here anywhere. So this is gonna be a fair test. So we'll go ahead and open these at the same time and just see if they have app opening speed. Nexus 10 one out there, but then uh, it's slightly different app anyway. So there you go, guys. You can see the different uh, system information. You can see what Android version I'm running, the processor. And yeah, let's not forget, this has two gigabytes of RAM, whereas the iPad actually only has one gigabyte. You can see there the Apple A6X running at 1.4 gigahertz. So yeah, let's, let's run these. We'll hit these at the same time. So Geekbench is predominantly a CPU benchmark, so it's not gonna be testing the graphics. This is just a core CPU test. So we're gonna see at the end of this, basically who has the better CPU. And wow, the Nexus 10 finished really quickly there with a score of 2,651, which is a mighty, mighty score for Geekbench. You can see the iPad is still running. I'll try and, yeah, okay. And we wait. And we're done. And the iPad this time on this run has scored 1789, which is actually one of the better scores I've seen with the iPad 4. So yeah, the Nexus 10 absolutely trounces it in terms of CPU. If we zoom in here, I'll try and uh, get it so you can see the breakdown of each. Um, I don't know how well this is going to come through. You can actually see the difference in the screen as well here. All right, that, um, hopefully you can see that. Let me just go through. Basically, the Nexus 10 beats the iPad in every single score. It beats an integer, floating point, memory, and stream. So you've just got to go ahead and say, actually, I'm wrong there. It, uh, the uh, Nexus 10 lost out on stream just the Nexus, the iPad 4 got 1,081, the Nexus 10 got 918, but it actually destroys it in pretty much everything else. And you can see it there in the results, 2,651 versus 1,789. Now, 1,789 is a healthy improvement over what the iPad 3 used to get, so there's definitely an improvement there, but it just can't touch the uh, 1.7 gigahertz dual core that the Nexus 10 has. So yeah, let me uh, go ahead and close those out. Okay, and the next test we're gonna run is a graphical test, and this is a big deal. So this should tell us which one's better at gaming, and there's no better graphical test to do than the GR benchmark, so we'll go ahead and try and open these at the same time as well. All right, okay, yeah, it has to, I don't know why it does that, but it has to turn it around. Annoying, but we'll live. So. There we go, GL benchmark. We'll go ahead and hit up performance tests on both. And we're just gonna run these last four, which is basically the uh, the main graphics test, the GL benchmark, Egypt HD and classic on and off screen. So we will be able to see um, realistically who's got the best graphics processor because the off screen runs at the same resolution. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start here and go. You can see the difference resolution that's definitely smaller than that so the uh, nexus 4 is off there i'm going to let the first test run so you can see it and you, you see if you can see a difference because i have been requested to let them run um, but after the first test i will stop you can see the vsync limit has gone now on the nexus 10 
It is still there on the iPad 4. So what we noticed is the uh, Nexus 10 actually started before the iPad, but let's see if the iPad can catch up in its graphical tests. Again, we can see VSync limited on the iPad 4 when it's not on the uh, Nexus 10 here. Um, yeah, see if you can see a difference, guys. You can see that it's a bit jittery, so let's see what, how the iPad handles it. Definitely smoother, a little bit smoother on the iPad. Not perfectly smooth, but definitely smoother than the Nexus 10. Again, let's not forget, this is the on-screen test here, so the Nexus 10 is running at high resolution. But from my view, I can definitely see the iPad 4 is smoother in this test than the, uh, than the Nexus 10. So we are getting higher frame rates. Again, the VSync limit just popped up on the iPad 4. That wasn't on the Nexus 10 at the same point. And again, you can see it there. It's just disappeared. It's still there now. So we can see on the iPad 4, we are hitting the, uh, the limiter, whereas on the Nexus 10, I haven't seen it since the beginning, really. So much so that the iPad caught up quite a bit, really. So we're going into the second test now, which is, I believe, an off-screen one. So, yeah. And the iPad 4 is caught up there and it's running the test as well. So I'm going to go ahead and skip now because you've gone ahead and seen one full on-screen test. So, yeah, guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you at the results. Okay, guys, and we're back and both tests have finished up. Let's zoom in so we can see some results. I'll just move over the iPad here. So move this one over. Okay, now let's compare them. Hopefully you can see that. Just gonna go through each test. In the first test, the iPad scores 42 frames per second, the Nexus 10, 27. The iPad in the second scores 52, Nexus 10 scores 36. I'm just gonna keep going now. 37 versus 26, 38 versus 23, 43 versus 31, 59 versus 50, and 133 versus 88. So let me just zoom back out here. Yeah, it's an absolute whitewash for the iPad 4. So the iPad 4 has a much better, a much stronger GPU. It's just, there's no two ways about it. And that is gonna equal better gameplay, smoother gameplay. So if you're someone that just really wants a tablet for gaming, it's gotta be the iPad 4. Um, let me just go ahead and take this bottom test, which is the Egypt Classic test here. This is a good marker, really, because the other, some of the other ones run on screen, they're different resolutions, so it's not really fair. But this one, the bottom one, is an off screen test on the Classic, and you can see the iPad scores 133 and the Nexus 10 scores 88. Now, a score of 88 isn't bad. I mean, in the list of GL benchmarks, the Nexus 10 is second in the list, so it does have a very good GPU, but it's just it just can't match that of the iPad 4. There's just no two ways about it. 133 versus 88 frames per second. So yeah, if you want a tablet just for pure gaming, it's got to be the iPad 4. So pretty much it's one all in terms of the old benchmarks and that's really all I can show you. Um, the Nexus 10 has a better CPU. Uh, it scored much better in Geekbench, but the iPad 4 wins on the GPU. So yeah, it's a bit of a, Bit of a catch-22 there. It really depends what you're going to want. There's no question the iPad is the best tablet for gaming. Um, so, yeah, these are the benchmarks, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all later.